Welcome, everybody. This is the Supreme Decisions Legal Minute Podcast, and I'm your host, Supreme Decisions. And I want to welcome you guys into 2022 and season two of the Supreme Decision Legal Minute Podcast. Yes, I had to repeat that twice because it sounded so nice. But the reason why we're going into a season two is because we are creating a new thing. And that new thing is more focused on getting you guys the information that you're looking for in a more timely manner and actually setting up to be something greater than we were last year and the year before because it's about constant improvement. I want to thank Spotify, the host, and I also want to acknowledge them for their continued support and motivation to which they are aiding us in growing. They're putting us in multiple countries and also they're opening up Spotify video podcast. So this why, well, that's why in the future, you will be able to see me in either the studio or hell for this part, like today, my mobile studio, because I have the Yeti iPhone, uh, excuse me, the, the Yeti, the blue Yeti microphone. Thank you, Christian, your family. We have the Zion gimbal, the smooth four. We want to thank Felicia Turner for that one. And we have the MacBook. So, you know, I'm going to keep it rolling, going to keep it going. A lot of recording will be done for now on my iPhone. We'll probably be doing some other stuff later, but, you know, it is what it is because it still has great picture. And, you know, you get to see the shine for those that want to watch the video. I'm not sure why, but it is. You know, it's going to be there. That's going to be part of our thing now. And we're going to grow based on we're going to be putting out material not only on the YouTube platform, we're going to be on things such as Patreon. We're going to be going to other platforms and we're going to grow to Roku. Now, we're probably looking for April, May, but it'll, we're looking for definitely summer of 2022. And we're going to make sure we're putting out a quality product for those that are, you know, partaking of it. Now, going to do a quick shout out to that burger spot number three in Jonesboro, Georgia on South Lake Parkway. Your stomach will thank you. They have great food. And Urban Giro's Mediterranean Street Food, El Paso, Texas, 1550. North Zaragoza Drive, 79936, and Suite 202. It's Mediterranean food with an urban twist. Go stop by and get your gyro. And yes, they are absolutely wonderfully delicious chicken, beef, lamb, and they have wraps as well. So stop in, tell them Supreme sent you, and I love you guys. We're going to start rolling now. Well, today we're going to get into part two, simply because it's not part one anymore. But the one thing I actually want to point out is there are a lot of things that I am going to be doing differently from here on out. And before I get into that, I want to, I want to talk about something. Because on last week, I had a comment that was left in my comment section and I thought it was hilarious, and it was young man stated, "We don't need any more." And this, I actually, this is not how he sounds. I'm just throwing something out there. Anyway, we don't need any more Supreme Court cases. We need to know how this works. Now I agree, but my response was simple. If you look at my computer screen, which you're not going to do right now, simply because. I haven't set the camera up for that. But there are motions that I've written as well as templates from Harvard Law Review, other court cases that go along with Harvard Law Review. And Harvard Law Review is responsible for putting out the most successful attorneys throughout the world. Now, what does that have to do with you? Well, 
You look at one of the most prestigious colleges in the world. Damn the country, the world. And they give out free information. The reason why I brought that up is because of something simple. In 2008, I started helping out a lot of people. And in the midst of doing that, I was charged with racketeering. Is <laughs> racketeering influenced corrupt organizations. I was multiple counts of that, and then that led to 108 individual counts. Of all the people I helped, I helped them for free. Why? Because I wanted to make sure the battle was part of what I, I was going into. I wanted to make sure they were fighting. I was dragging them into court and kicking and screaming, we're going to fight this. Well, going back to my man, Jay-Z. Many of you actually probably don't even like the fact that I bring him up, but I want you to understand something. Jay-Z says a lot of things that most people need to hear. In a song, he states, lyrically, I'll be Talib Kweli. Now, most of you have no clue who Talib Kweli is. Why? Because he doesn't speak gangster. He speaks upliftment, enlightenment, growth. The reason why Jay-Z quoted him lyrically, I'll be Talib Kweli, is because he dumbed down for an, his audience and doubled his dollars. But in the midst of doing that, he still gives you jewels. One of the jewels he gave was fair trade. He said, you know the price of everything but the value of nothing. He then repeated it. You know the price of everything but the value of nothing. Now, the reason why I brought up my court case is because, again, I helped hundreds, close to thousands of people between 2008 and 2010 when I was formally charged with RICO. 2012 when we went to trial there was 13 people that actually stood up and tried to get me to go to prison for the rest of my life even though I helped them with life changing events such as helping them get their money helping them keep their house helping them get their children back helping them get their cars back helping them set up jobs and actually actual businesses these were the things that I did they knew the price of everything, but the value of nothing. They didn't value the information that was free. Harvard gives out free information that's available to everyone. I talk about it on a regular basis. Why? Because that's what I'm using. I'm using free content. But at the same time, I'm also putting content to work. Why? Because now I'm not only giving you free content, I'm giving you free content that I've used, applied, and understand how it works now. There are opportunities that everyone has. Even this young man. I even pointed that out to him. He has the opportunity to go get formal training from a school which is not free. Yet he wants it from YouTube for free. He has a formal opportunity to go to someone else to get it for free and spend the hours and hours and hours and hours of time because understanding, just to become fluent at something, you need to put in 10,000 hours. Just to become fluent in anything, you need 10,000 hours. To become a master at it, you need 100,000. He can go and put in the 10,000 hours that's necessary to make him fluent. He can do that for free on his own. What I understand is the value of me, understanding the value of application. If you were to go to Harvard, the best in the country, the best in the world, you're gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that extra information that he's asking for. Me, myself, I'm going to give it out, but I'm going to give it out over time. And I'm not giving it out for free because I know the value 
of my information. I know the value of my time. I know the value of my work, which is also going to entail phone calls, text messages, emails, these things that take up that time. Because if I'm doing it for free, you don't value anything that I'm giving you. You're living with the expectation of me giving it to you. You're living it with the entitlement that is owed to you. When in fact, I don't owe you anything. When in fact, I am not responsible for giving you anything. But I am here to aid you and guide you if you so choose. Now, there'll be a lot of people to say, I don't really like you for that. Guess what? I'm good with that. You don't have to make a phone call. You don't have to send a text message. You don't have to send an email. Gonna be people, well, that's just not right. Guess what? That's cool as well. Because again, you don't have to listen. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to donate. You don't have to promote. You don't have to share. You don't have to comment. You don't have to do anything. Just exist. All those are your free will. You can exercise them however it is that you would like. Understand. Understand something simple. You can know the price of everything, but what I'm giving you is valuable beyond belief. That's why what I do whenever I'm helping someone, the first question I ask, what is your level of justice? What are you looking for? What is your end game? Because we'll spend more time on the things that we desire versus the thing that we need, we'll also spend more effort on the thing we desire. So when we have that direction of what I need, go without vision, the people will perish. Understanding the end game, because my job is to help you apply what it is and manage your expectations from it. Understand that. Apply what it is I'm giving you and manage your expectations from that.